small video about the plasma membrane structure. The plasma membrane forms a barrier around different areas of the cells, um, which are for, called organelles. Uh, the structure of the membrane around the organelles is the same as the structure on the whole of the outside of the cell, which is called the cell membrane. So we're going to look at the structure of the cell membrane in terms of its basic building block. The basic building blocks in the membrane are phospholipids, which are drawn like this. It's formed of two fatty acids, two fatty acid tails, which are done in biological molecules, and a phosphate head. And the phosphate head is made up of a phosphate group and a glycerol molecule. So you can compare this, which you have done, to the structure of a triglyceride. The phosphate head is charged, so it's said to be polar. And that means that it's attracted to water. And another word for that is that it's hydrophilic. The fatty acid tails, there's two of them, are uncharged. They are nonpolar and they repel water. They're said to be hydrophobic. And if you try to remember this, if you're phobic or have a phobia, it's something you don't like. So the tails don't like water, they're hydrophobic, they repel water, they're pushed away. If you had a beaker of water and you sprinkled a layer of phospholipids on the top of the water, the phospholipids would ping into this position. So the heads would be attracted to the water and the tails would be sticking up into the air. The tails would be repelled by water. If you tried to push it down and twist it round so the tails went into the water and then left go, they go ping back up into that position. So we're forming a layer of phospholipids with the hydrophilic heads in the water and the hydrophobic tails projecting out of the water. Using the same example with the phospholipids on the surface of the water, if you put your hand over the top of the beaker and gave it a good shake, the phospholipids would be forced into the water, sort of like if you had oil in a pan and you whisked it up. What would happen if the phospholipids were pushed down into the water is they'd form a sphere, a 3D structure, where all the tails would be pushed into the middle and this is a 3D shape, a 3D sphere I'm showing you a cross section where all the phospholipids heads, the phosphate heads would be sticking out towards the water which was all around here the tails would be repelled into the centre of this sphere this is called a micelle in biological membranes, so the plasma membrane structure and the membrane around the cell and around the organelles, it forms a bilayer. A bilayer of phospholipids. There are two layers of phospholipids. The reason for this, there's a GCSE cell and the single line is representing the membrane. If this was one phospholipid, for example, like this, which way would the phospholipid position itself if it was a single layer? Well, inside the cell, the cytoplasm, which is watery. Outside the cell is a watery environment, which is called tissue fluid, which is water as well, or watery. So the phospholipid, which way would it position itself? The tails would be tried to point outwards. Oh, there's water, so they'd be repelled. They tried to point inwards. There's water. They'd be repelled. So this wouldn't work with a single layer of phospholipids. So instead, we have a double layer of phospholipids with the tails pointing inwards all the way around the whole of the cell membrane. So, if we took a cross section of the cell membrane and 
you should, have, you should have seen this in a diagram in your booklet or been given it out on an A3 sheet. The phospholipids form a bilayer. There's one layer, there's two. Bilayer, two layers. The central area has just got the fatty acid tails and it's said to be a hydrophobic interior. And the heads, these ones will be pointing in towards the cytoplasm, these ones out towards the tissue fluid. <laughs>